हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द टेक्सुअल एजुकेशन हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लर्न हाउ टू क्रिएट एन ए बी आई दैट विल एक्सेप्ट मल्टीपल पैरामीटर्स और हाउ टू पास मल्टीपल पैरामीटर्स इन ए पी आई सो लेट्स क्रिएट एन ए पी आई दैट विल एक्सेप्ट मल्टीपल पैरामीटर्स एट अ टाइम नाउ ओपन द ई एम पी डॉट ओ पी आर एस क्लास क्रिएट ए मैथड बाई नेम पब्लिक लिस्ट एम्प्लॉ गेट एम्प्लॉ बाय नेम एंड डिपार्टमेंट हेयर गिव पैरामीटर नेम एज नेम एंड द सेकेंड पैरामीटर नेम इज डिपार्टमेंट नाउ फिल्टर द न्यू रिकॉर्ड ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ एम्प्लॉय नेम एंड एम्प्लॉय डिपार्टमेंट सो लिस्ट एम्प्लॉय न्यू एम्प्लॉय इक्वल टू एम पी लिस्ट डॉट स्ट्रीम डॉट फिल्टर हेयर ऑब्जेक्ट इज क्रिएटिंग ई ई डॉट गेट नेम इक्वल्स नेम एंड ई डॉट गेट डिपार्टमेंट इक्वल्स डिपार्टमेंट dot collect and pass argument is collectors dot to list your new list will be in new list object now return that list return new list so done for the now now move to the our service class create a method by name public list employee find by name and department a string first parameter name is name and the second parameter is department now give the implementation of this method to the impl class that is emp service impl class go to the bottom and press the control and space bar and select the method which you want to implement now create an object of emp oprs class emp oprs oprs equal to new emp oprs now return the list of object oprs dot em get employee by name and department pass the of variable here now done here now move to the control class now at the rate get mapping give the name url as slash get by get emp by name underscore and underscore department slash in angular bracket in first angular bracket give us name slash in second give us department so here we pass two variables now give the method public list employee get employee get employee by name and department and at the rate path variable first parameter is name pass here name create variable by name second is comma second is at the rate path variable inside specify the key as department and create a variable string type variable string department now return the list object from service class return service dot return 
service dot find by name and department pass the parameter as name and department that's it run your project and test to the browser first parameter is name and second parameter is department when we pass it will set to the name first and department to the second now test to the browser now our url will be http colon double slash localhost port 8989 slash emp slash v1 slash employee slash get emp by name underscore and underscore department slash first parameter is name so i'm passing here is kamal singh and the second parameter is sales so i pass is sales now the object is kamal singh so we search the employee with the help of name and department now search the komal singh from sales department no he is not komal is not working in sales now change his department to it yes she is working in it that's it this is the process how we create a multiple argument api and how to use it with the help of path variable so now we have learned the basics of apis how to create how to deploy how to uh, test all are the get request apis with the help of path variable annotation in next video we will learn the same apis with the help of path param annotation how that path param annotation works we will see in next video till then keep practicing keep learning keep growing thanks for watching video if you like the video kindly hit the like button give your comments and click on subscribe button to get future notification thank you see you in next video bye